Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> just wanted to kind of tell y'all Merry Christmas. Uh, a couple days late, been a little chaotic around here. Uh, one of our kids is plumbing broke Christmas Eve. Couldn't get it fixed Christmas Eve night, of course. Uh, so they, uh, when we all been camping out here, so my wife and I went from house a party of two with a little dog to nine um so i kind of lost track of it. but anyhow i wanted to kind of share a, a you know i just didn't want to miss my you know how blessed i really am but really it shouldn't even be a season it should be just the reason his name is jesus A lot of debate, disagreement, whatever, dates, even different countries or whatever, you know, um, that we can go down all those rabbit holes. But we really should be kind, loving, merciful, grateful, just all the attributes of Jesus all year long. Some people are. Some people are just ugly all year long. It doesn't matter, even at the holidays. Ugly, stupid decisions are just hateful um, in general. That's okay. Um, but I'm not. And I'm not saying I'm any better. And I know a lot of y'all aren't. I just kind of wanted to share, you know, that I'm really blessed. Very blessed. To know Jesus and the love of my father and to kind of share with you guys that um, this just maybe not this might not be a Christmas message but kind of is um, Lord been dealing with me that a lot of people even in the church have this orphan mentality they don't really know who God is even with Jesus in their heart even with the Holy Ghost it's just like this surreal disconnection I kind of had some too that I didn't realize was there you know I thought everything was pretty good honestly but recently some events happened and some you know me self self-inflicted kind of ugly, painful, some others self-inflicted, some the enemy, <clears throat> always trying to mess up things and try to just distract us, but, so it's just, we can kind of lose sight of how much God really loved us, that he sent his only son to adopt us in, into sonship. Pretty awesome guys, really. So I just kind of want to refocus my been on that, but just, you know, like I said, I've been because of circumstances a little bit, you know, a little bit even grumpy, lack of sleep, probably honestly, because I mean, it's like, man, okay, a little bit chaotic, blessing and some stress, maybe a blessed mess. I don't know, but very blessed. Honestly, more blessing than not. You know, I mean, it's part of life. So anyhow, I just, you know, very, very thankful for who he is in my life, my wife's, and my children's. I just thank God. So I wanted to tell you all that. Um, a little late, I get it. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this video out, but I might, uh, probably will. Um, but just you know if you I really want to try to my one of my goals this year and starting now is email me because I've got a blog page it's on Wix of course it's a free site but still I want to start getting some people to just kind of he's been dealing with me about connecting the body And, and how it's it's really sick and just been disconnected. 
whether it's you that's the problem or others that are the problem, and sometimes it's both. I don't even know if problem's the right word, it's just, I just see a lot of this dysfunctional stuff going on within the body. And the world just has a heyday with it because they just kind of run, run, run right over us because of it, you know, because they want to do whatever they want to do and sin. And you know what, guys? Did we not? Did you not? I did. Sometimes we still do even, you know. Sometimes we don't even realize. <laughs> Muck and dirt and stuff that's still within us. But... That's kind of where I'm at. Um, reflecting on his greatness, his mercy, his blessing. But on connecting the body. It's very important. To us. It's, it's going to come out of Matthew 20. All the same. I don't really care if you're man, woman, child, black, white, green, yellow, Chinese, Russian. I mean, there's language I don't even know. Jesus and the Holy Ghost and His Word are all relevant to all of us. So let's just connect the body. You know, you may not be able to connect with everybody, of course. You know, you can just get buried alive in that stuff, too. So, I mean, it could just be too much because I'm still trying to do probably too much. Um, so I'm, you know, scaled it back a little bit, trying to be a little more target, trying to be a little bit more target specific. So, you know, um, blessed. This time of year, but blessed all the year. Love you guys. Uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Um, just tune in, you know. If you want to email me directly, just email us at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com um, or just Google us, Jesus is Alive in America. Uh, you can find us YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. If you want to do any of that, honestly, guys, because of sensationalism that's behind it, but. There it is. But we love you guys. Um, just really, really, really blessed. Like I said, this time of year, but all year, looking for more from Him. Even in the midst, because one of the things I put out was storms coming to America. And they are, guys. And I'm going to start really putting it out there in, in January, February, mostly really, from February on. But. <clears throat> He's separating us, guys, from self. That's the biggest idol, guys, we got, is ourselves. Cell phones, selfies. I mean, you know, Facebook. He sees a picture of somebody's eggs and bacon. Kind of, you know, I put some out, too, that probably kind of seem lame, too, guys. So I'm just, but I'm just saying, you know, it's just, you know, Great, I'm glad that you're blessed and you get to eat and stuff like that, but... <clears throat> but there's a lot of other nonsense on there too, but anyhow, that's just... You know, it's just... What can we do for others, guys? Now, others may be just your immediate family. Like we had to help, help one of my kids. Um, you know, seem like the right thing to do. Just get them some my decent place to stay. Plus, you know, just we just had to help them. They're older, of course. You know, but, and they got their own family, but so they're not really kids. But to me, they are. Um, so don't worry, YouTube. This is not a kid-oriented video at all. It's just family-oriented video. So, but I love you guys. Um, just. Very, very thankful, grateful, gracious, how merciful and gracious he is. So, um, do want to end with this though, because maybe this goes along with what I'm saying um, about this, the season that should be all year long. Um, last year, it went down to the, my wife and I administered a homeless shelter and. <laughs> A little bit tough, guys. Honestly, it's not tough, but just it's different. Um, we don't get a lot of help. 
and they get a lot of help from different people that kind of feed them and stuff like that. And there's other things going on, but as far as the on the ministry side, you know, we just kind of I mean, it's grown, but it's just so we are getting some help from the Lord. But as far as like people there, off and on some come, um, and good people too. But the uh, went there not this year, but last year. And didn't really connect and think, and didn't even think about calling the pastor that was all right. Um, but the date, the timing, it just worked out to where that was their day of just, they call it the Super Bowl, you know, to them. Because they do just do a lot of stuff to try to make them feel welcomed, you know, and at home. And just a lot of effort gets put into it. And 150, 200 people all in the parking lot from all different kinds of churches. And it's like, Okay, that was great and awesome for the people, too. I was like, where are you guys all year long? So I guess that's kind of where I'm at, you know, just kind of mixed, a little feelings, but um, just love you guys. Uh, I'm very blessed. Let's just pass it on, guys. What can we do to help our neighbor? Whether it's our neighbor or neighbor, I'm looking at my neighbor's house, um, or... We've got a homeless shelter, not a homeless shelter, but a um, nursing home up the street. And my wife and I are do some things up there this holiday season. Just visit some people that probably may not get visitors. Actually, we're going to ask for people that don't get visitors, so we can go after those people. Um, but what can we do for others, guys? If you're really blessed past, and I'm not talking about money because that's one of the other idols, too, guys. We just kind of got really really a surreal twisted up yeah we all need it that can be a whole message but that's not the true blessings I'm talking about anyhow so makes it easier of course not knocking it of course not saying I don't need it or want it of course but I don't want it to be my whole world revolve around that So, he's been really good to me. God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost have been really good to me. So, anyhow, love you guys. Um, blessed. A blessed mess. I know that's how this, this season's been for us. Like I said, party of two, me and my wife, and a little dog, and now it's party of nine. But kind of, you know, kind of the mole's kind of closed in a little bit. But, thank God. He's always got a purpose and a plan. Love you guys.